Hello there and welcome back. My name is Sean Reimer, I don't rhyme, and welcome to a, uh, a Top Geek reaction special, doing something a little bit different today. So uh, for, for those who've watched the previous episode of Top Geek, you know that I discussed the history and my, uh, my rankings of the Doctor Who title sequences. And I come from a unique perspective, while it, it's not too unique in the YouTube community, um, but uh, I, I make Doctor Who title sequences, or I, I did. I, I don't really do it much anymore, but I, I was obsessed with them for a long time. So um, here I have a playlist of all uh, of my title sequences. I first started making them when I was in, what was it, grade eight in junior high, and now I'm, you know, uh, like five years out of college. So it's, you know, I got a beard. Things are a lot different now. And I've grown a lot as a visual effects artist. And uh, I've sort of grown out of visual effects. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so uh, yeah, I have a playlist of every single one that I've made. Um, I'm sure I'm missing maybe one or two, but th these are the main ones. Uh, f starting from, I don't know how long, that that was the very start the v5 and then going down and then the brutally i don't think we'll do the brutally honest ones maybe we'll do it as a bonus because that was more of a uh a rant to the bbc but here we go let's uh let's do this let's see how uh cringy the titles were back in the day so okay and one second so uh you'll You'll, you'll see the name Doctor New come up instead of Doctor Who sometimes. And that was because I was trying to get uh, a show off the ground. I was trying to do my own uh, fan series. It didn't work, but I, I just kept sticking the name in there. Um, so that's why my title sequences don't have, like, a whole lot of views. But uh, I did do some, like, regular Doctor Who ones. So uh, here's V5. V5. The reason it's V5 is because... Um, I kept like refining it and then deleting the old one. So um, this really is the first one, just the most up-to-date version of the, the oldest one, so. You can see through the TARDIS. God, the resolution's bad. 720p, yikes. There's the Enterprise. So, uh, fun thing about this, I was very much inspired by a show called Dr. Stu that's not made anymore. Um, uh, I'm actually friends with uh, Jason, one of the, the guys who was, was part of it. Um, and then he had, he had a buddy, uh, Ash. I'm pretty sure Ash is, has passed away, but he was an amazing... Uh, or no, that was Kevin. I think that was Kevin. Yeah. Um, but Ash is a fantastic uh, music creator. He creates the best Doctor Who themes I've ever heard, and his Doctor Stu theme is remarkable. So you're going to hear some of his themes. Uh, and then Jason did the, the TARDIS that this, this was all green screen. Um, and then the vortex was just something I ripped off of YouTube. So I didn't really make this. I, uh, I made the, the names and whatnot, but everything else pretty much belongs to, to other people. So that, that's really how I got my start. Uh, and I didn't have friends back in the day, so I used, uh, well, I had a friend named Thomas, and then, uh, Drago got in there. Uh, if, if you don't know Drago, just go back, watch my old videos, because that was the only friend I had back in the day. I don't know what all those sparkles were there for. I don't know. That's that's where it pretty much started for me. <laughs> and then the theme came back at, at the end. So yeah, that was the first one. Humble beginnings. Well, okay, technically not my first one, but my first one where I actually made it on the computer. So, um, so that was V5. Let's go to V6. V6, I'm going to tell you right now, is my least favorite. Um, although it's been a while since I've watched it, so... Watching 1080p now. See, this was bad. This was my first time using Premiere, I think, too. I just threw green screen everything in there. I love this theme, though. 
don't know what that sound effect was. I don't know what that face is. This is bad. Yeah, this is as bad as I remember it. Wow. Star Destroyer in there. I can't even read the name of the the text. Uh, wow, yeah, this is bad. So, uh, I, I really wanted to do something that was based on the 11th Doctor's titles because I love those titles so much. Um, so, yeah, like it's... Uh, <laughs> It, this wasn't good. This wasn't good at all. So, uh, I, I really wanted to redeem myself the next week, and um, I was trying to figure out how. And I found, like, um, stock CGI of traveling through a galaxy. And I was like, I, I can add names onto that in a TARDIS and a green screen and various other things. And that's where version 7 came in. But version 6 is really bad. Um, yeah, it's really pixelated and stupid, but... The theme is good. Uh, version 7 I actually really like. Let's see if it holds up. Still that glitch there. Wow. Where did I get this TARDIS? I don't remember. Katia, friend of mine. Yeah. Oh. God, me, back in the day, that's disgusting. Logo's not bad. The gradient was terrible, but... I really like this theme. See, that now you can actually read the... Whoop, don't want to skip to version 8 yet. Um, so yeah, that, uh... I don't know, not, not too bad. I... Because back in the day, I actually liked the... The series uh, 7B titles that I put on the worst... Uh, spot on the list last week because I I liked how it traveled through like the galaxy and whatnot So I, I thought that was cool, but nowadays no, I'm, I'm pretty cynical to that sort of thing So uh, that was version 7 version 8 was really an evolution not a revolution of that I, I was just refining some stuff. I think I put a different TARDIS in here color graded some stuff differently. So Yeah Pretty much the same thing Yeah, different TARDIS Color graded, yeah. Why didn't I just choose Doctor Who? Why didn't I just call it that? The show was never gonna happen. Uh, better title there, An Adventure in Time and Space, yeah. So, yeah, version 8. Um, I think version 8's better than, than version 7, of course, but uh, as you're, as you're going to see in, uh, in a minute, there are definitely downgrades. So, the software I was using um, to make those was Sony Vegas. I didn't actually own Sony Vegas, so, um, and I kept getting trials of, of different uh, uh, bits of software to use, and... Uh, I, I ran out of those those versions. So the next one was my first foray into Adobe Premiere, which didn't go well, uh, as you will see in version 9. Oh, God. The keyframing was so bad. Holy cow. And then I was, I was trying to do a neon visual thing. This is terrible. This is worse than I remember. Oh, I I chose uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation. The font. Oh God, Rhymer, what were you doing here? Cause I I couldn't just open the doors, like cause yeah, this was this was a remake of uh, or at least inspired by the uh, Series Seven B titles. I don't know why I was obsessed with those. I think it's because uh, Neon Visual or Xandercom or whatever you choose to call him, very known title sequence maker. He, he did some very co cool stuff um, with environments and stuff like that. So it, I think that Xandercom's, or uh, Neon Visual, sorry, Neon Visual's uh, strong suit. He's fantastic at environments, and that's something I can never do. So it, it's something that I kept trying to experiment with. And once I got into hit film, then I, um, I, I did a little bit more parallaxing and stuff like that. But uh, so far, nothing here I've actually created myself, still. 
uh, version 10, or hold on, this is a title sequence I made for uh, a friend of mine back in the day, Hecamixel. I'm not sure where he is now, but uh, yeah, he wanted me to make him some, some titles, so I, this was version 2. Same theme. Oh my... Okay, I, I think a lot of this was his idea. Knock off of the... I, I literally... Wow. So I, I didn't even do my own TARDIS, TARDIS there. That uh, That's bad. That's really bad. Uh, yeah, let, let's just skip over that. Um, do I not have... Oh, I think I got one removed from copyright. Okay. Uh, so version 10 is not on here. Uh, eventually, I did get a copy of Sony Vegas, and uh, that's when the titles started getting a little bit better. Um, this was my next foray into the um, series five titles with the thunder and the uh, fire and whatnot, or the lightning and the fire. Let's see if this is any good. I love this theme. So uh, the theme is made by a guy named Elliot Reynolds. He is absolutely fantastic, uh, much like Ash. I very, very underrated. I love his themes. So, and then this TARDIS is by Sam Woodhall. He doesn't make Doctor Who titles anymore. He's actually deleted all of his Doctor Who content, but I loved his work. This was inspired by one of his titles. This isn't bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Good fire too. Really lackluster lens player there, but not bad reveal either. The TARDIS. Okay. Yeah, not not terrible, not terrible at all. So um, I I like what I did with the lightning at the beginning. Um, the vortex was again ripped from someone. The TARDIS was a green screen. Sam Woodhall. Um. Yeah, none of this was my own. I think this this was the last title sequence where I was stealing other people's stuff a lot. Um, then for uh, my birthday one year, I think it was grade nine, it was grade nine, uh, I got a copy of Hit Film, and that's when I started to make them myself and start doing 3D compositing myself. So um, here's that in 2014. Uh, this is a little bit rough, but I don't mind this. That TARDIS is spinning way too fast, but immediately you could tell that this uh, this TARDIS uh, I found on Turbo Squid, but I had to light it and put materials on it myself. I had to do the lightning myself, the vortex myself. So I think for a first try with it, film it was actually pretty good. And it flies right through the camera. That's funny. Too much camera shaking, too. And I didn't even hide the new particles coming into the vortex there. I, I threw lots of explosions, too. That's funny. So, uh, yeah, not a bad first attempt with hit film. I would definitely get a better model, um, because I, uh, I was following a tutorial made by hit film. That's really where I, I got inspiration to get hit film. Um, by um, Valbar, I think his name is, if, if I'm getting it right. He works for Hit, for hit Film now, but he, he was doing little tutorials on, on the side, and so I got the model from uh, a link that he provided. He gave me a lot of help uh, making this, because I was pretty clueless in Hit Film at the time. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it's amazing how things change, because like, now Hit Film is like my go-to VFX software. I don't I don't use it too much anymore because I'm, I don't know, I've gotten kind of out of compositing and I've gotten more into video editing and making my own content and that sort of thing. Not so much VFX anymore, but hit film's amazing. Because um, After Effects can be really daunting with the amount of plugins you gotta 
download for it to be good. HitFilm is a much more all-encompassed, all-in-one um, editing and compositing solution. So I would highly recommend it. Great price. Um, it's not a subscription service. You, you pay uh, and you, you get it. And then um, they give you discounts for each new one if you've had a previous one. So I, I need to get a new copy of HitFilm. I've been running HitFilm 3 forever. So I, um, if you guys want me to get back into making these, um, I'll, I'll do it because... Really, the, the main reason I stopped making them was because I, I fell out of love with Doctor Who. And, um, like, honestly, Jody's Doctor, I, I, I don't like Jody's Doctor. I'm sorry. Like, I just... It, not my not my cup of tea. Um, like, I, I think a, a female can absolutely play the Doctor. Joe Martin is doing it brilliantly. I love Joe Martin's Doctor. Um, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't care for Chris Chibnall's writing, and I don't care for Jodie Whitker's acting choices. Nothing against them. Just... Not my thing. That that's no hate. Just you know, I, I've given it a try. Uh, and then when Peter Capaldi was named the Doctor, I uh, made a quick one. I like the vortex. I like the theme too. Not bad. A little bit spaced out, but that's that's okay. Really? I ruined it. I ruined it by making a joke at the end. Steven's so fat. Get it? Come on. Okay. You know what? No, we're, we're skipping that. That one doesn't count. Uh, which one's next? I did a remaster of the previous titles uh, that I made in hit film. I made it better. Let's see how much... Yeah, this is immediately better. I added some lens dirt. I love lens dirt. I'm like uh, Simon from Hit Film. I love lens dirt. It's amazing. It's not a fix all solution, but that was a lot cleaner, too. That reveal through the, the logo. I like that. That was nice. So yeah, I, I can definitely see uh, me getting better over time. So that's that's really cool. I, I like that remaster more than I, I thought I would. So uh, the rejected title sequences. So back in grade 10, I was uh, working on um, making uh, Peter Capaldi's new titles. I um, Well, not officially for the show, obviously, but as a project of mine. I wanted to make them big. I wanted to make it grand uh and i went through some rejected ones at the time so i uploaded those so i tried putting the tardis in a thunderstorm this is how that went the lighting's gotten a lot better um it's still the same tardis model that has the terrible materials on it but um, but yeah, flying it just through a giant particle cloud, it, it didn't work, um, because I couldn't keep track of the TARDIS at all. Uh, I can't make a howl around either. Um, I suck at that. I, I need to figure out how to do that. Um, this is bad. <laughs> I, I, I remember, uh, oh yeah, that was my materialization effect at the time. And I'll show you guys that here in a minute. Uh, now, this next one is, uh... They are my most viewed Doctor Who titles ever. I don't know how many views this has. Uh, 21,000. 21,000 views. So, uh, although my Cabin Creations video somehow got more views. I don't know how it, it did that. Um, so this was my my thing for Peter Capaldi. This, is, this was my tribute for him. So... Oh yeah, so I, I did like a little homage. That's where I started. That that was my first Doctor Who title sequence. I didn't even have a, a, a toy TARDIS at that moment. I, I made one out of Lego, and that, that's how much I love Doctor Who. So, and I just flew it around my room with a piece of tape and pretended it was the title sequence. Yeah, it wasn't the... Well, it, this is where I, I think my title sequences got bigger, so...
There's his face. See, this is what I mean. I tried doing environments. A Dalek UFO. I like the theme. The theme's really nice. The blue sun. The heat. I don't care for this vortex, though. Oh, eh, actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. Deep breath. Yeah, I love deep breath. Deep breath, to this day, is one of my favorite episodes. Oh, and people make fun of me for this. Hold on. I did that. <laughs> I did that. Um, I I wanted to do like a cool cursive name and I didn't know how to do it, so fuck it, Comic Sans. <laughs> and people roasted me for this. Oh, you're a VFX artist and you use Comic Sans. So, you know what? Fair. That's And I, I defended it at the time. I don't anymore. This is bad. Uh, let's move on. Uh, and then I, I made a, another one after that. Um, and I, I think this one is uh, one of my favorites. I love this one. And I was still trying to do uh, Doctor New at the time. Um, I don't know why. I, I made a version of this that replaced Doctor New with Doctor Who and replaced my name with Peter Capaldi's name and his face. I don't know where it went. Um, I, I wish I still had that version. Um, it's on a, it's on an old computer somewhere. Um, and I, 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 I'm sure it's gone. I, I checked the old computer. So, this is what you get. 2,000 year old diary. This is uh, Ash's um, crowning achievement, I think. He created these amazing, um, or an amazing Capaldi inspired theme, and it's brilliant. Isn't this beautiful? This theme. The visuals, eh. Oh, I like that. God, this would look so good if it were Doctor Who. <laughs> Not bad, Rhymer. I... I, I really like, uh, yeah, my favorite part of that sequence is is this. That's just the, the orange and everything. Like, it, it looks so cool. And and then the, the clock face. I really like that. So, yeah. And then classic logo, too. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. Um, stock image I found on Google, but then I, um, I manipulated it to twist around. It was pretty cool. So none of these are for profit, by the way. I'm like none of these are monetized at all. So if they had if they have ads in them, then that means YouTube put the ads there. But and then uh, oh, Doctor Mew. Why did I forget about Doctor Mew? So um, Doctor Mew is uh, it's still going. It's a series uh, by a friend of mine named Darby. Um, Med themes. I'm not sure if uh, any of you have heard from him. Hey, if, if you're watching this. Uh, so I made some titles for him. Uh, a couple titles, actually. Um, and this was, uh, this was the first one. And I was, I wanted to do some Capaldi titles. So, I like those gears. The clock face is interesting. I lost the, the light there. Uh, that's my one complaint. I, I give myself props on how I was able to take a PNG logo and make it look really nice. So, I really like the Dr. Mew logo. I'm not sure if he created it, but... Oh yeah, and this was my first one in 4K, and I came across some rendering issues on the TARDIS. So, that's not good. But So yeah, that was uh, the Dr. Mew titles. Here's a little bonus. I really like this one. This is my first foray into a new, uh, I've been saying foray a lot, into a new TARDIS model and a new materialization thing. This is my version of how the TARDIS materializes. I think it's really cool. It's like Terminator. Oh, that's wicked. I love that. 
That's so cool. I love that. Yeah, and I um, got like an environment map of New York, so that's really cool. Uh, here's the the last Doctor Mew title sequence I did. My uh, I, I really like this one. This was the last time I did the uh, the Thunder and Lightning titles. I, I should probably do those again, um, in a modern way. Again, using the Capaldi theme. I like the raindrops. Um, I don't know. I know it's a little bit overkill sometimes. Oh, and I did that same TARDIS mater materialization thing here. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and then I did some closing credits too to, for that. Uh... Yeah. So closing credits. Um, here's a Christmas greeting I did, um, one year. Uh, I think this was, this was grade 11, I think it was. Um, either grade 11 or grade 12, I did this. Not a title sequence, but, see, Parallax Galaxy, I really like that. And then I did my, uh, split scan technique here. That looks really cool. And then I did some 3D tracking. Uh, that looks bad, but... Yeah, the camera noise was... Uh, the mic noise was pretty bad. Uh, and then I, I went to school for a bit in Vancouver, and uh, this was sitting in my project library for a long time, and I, I didn't know how to finish it. And then I bought a Mac and transferred everything over, and then I finished it that night that I got that Mac, because... That Mac was so fast compared to my, my old computer, and that's why I only use a, a Mac, and I, I love my Mac. So this was, um, this was a thank you to finally getting a good computer, because I hadn't before. And a thank you to Peter Capaldi, um, my favorite doctor. So. I love that vortex, it's so cool. And then this is my favorite part. The ink. The, I don't know if you catch that. It was, I overdid it on the glowing. Um, well, I, the, my, my thought process with this, I wanted to make it look like I was going into the doctor's body. So his his eye for his name, and then you have uh, David Bradley's name, uh, like the bloodstream, uh, the blood particles. It, but it's yellow, like he's regenerating. And then the, the uh, two hearts that beat, and then they strike lightning. The logo, and then for fun, a uh, a fire vortex with snowflakes, which I think is really cool. And then I cut off the fire, just the snowflakes. I really like that one. Um, and then the last one I made, uh, I don't think I'll show you the, the one I made fun of the BBC for. Um, but this is my last proper one that I made. Um, I was inspired by James Bond for, for this. I, I was tired of doing the traditional Doctor Who title sequence. And I, I wanted to do something different. So uh, this... This was my attempt at a James Bond Doctor Who title sequence, and I like it. And then Jodie Whittaker was the doctor by this point. This is the only thing I've made for Jodie. Um, Sydney Newman's the doctor, like, uh, um, as, uh, James, or, uh, 007 James Bond in the, yeah, that's, that's where I was going with that nameplate. And then 
fire logo. I couldn't make a, I couldn't find a way to sharpen this because like I I took a PNG and because that's the only way they had this font. So that's why it's not very sharp. But and then uh, I I think it's really cool having all the aliens uh, in fire. That was really cool. You know what? I'm proud of this one. I'm really proud of this one. And then uh, they didn't have the 13th Doctor's TARDIS, and so I decided the 7th and 8th Doctor's TARDIS was close enough to that. So, and then showrunner Chris Chibnall. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say that about Chris Chibnall. Um, so that's all the Doctor Who titles I've made, really. Um, you know what? I'll throw the, the bonus in there. This was when I was mad at the BBC for how much Doctor Who sucked. Politically Correct Cox. I got a lot of hate for this. A lot of hate. British B... British... That's hard to say. British Brie Larson. Uh, and then a bunch of rotating penises. Um, I don't know. I was I was really ang I needed to vent, and the stupid part was I don't even think I uh, duplicated the original project file. I just I redid everything in the original project file. So um, there's no if I wanted to change something um, in the previous ones, I can't because now it's just there's a bunch of penises in it, <laughs> which was stupid. Nightmare that keeps Peter Capaldi up at night, and I brought Comic Sans back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, dyspraxia, that's one of the character's, um, illnesses, and it only comes up when it's convenient. Really bad writing. Um, yeah, I don't remember Yaz either. And then, uh, they randomly brought up that, uh, one of the characters, uh, Grant, I think his name was, uh, I, I don't remember series 11 of Doctor Who at all. Um, they randomly said he had cancer, and then it never came back up again. It, it's like, it's something straight out of the room. It's ridiculous. And then I put James May in here, too. People were really mad at me for that. So, um, yeah, that those are the Doctor Who title sequences that I have made throughout the years. I, do you guys want me to make another one? I don't. I don't know. Maybe I should. On that wonderful note, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching this uh, Top Geek reaction special. Let me know if you want more. Good night. <laughs>